This one was painful, incredibly painful. Um, I'm actually making this video twice as long as normal so that I have enough time to stretch out and explain everything that came to mind during this process because this was the one that almost broke me, all right? Now, I actually wanted to make this longer also because the beginning, you're going to see me fumble and, and, and struggle. I actually restarted, I think, three times I restarted. I just threw everything out up in the, uh, I just threw everything out the window, started over from scratch because, um, see right here, I'm drawing hands. And this is coming from a guy who talks shit about being able to draw hands because I'm kind of proud of that fact because, you know, I don't know, whatever. Some people, that's, you know, I was struggling with a lot of, um, internal shit while I was doing this and a lot of it had to do with challenging my own pride um let's see everything felt wrong about this now what you're seeing right now this kind of sketch um level that I was at um this is what I was working with for let's see how long did it take I started this just a shade under a month ago so this took me a month to complete but it didn't take me a month like the actual drawing time um is somewhat like in the high end of average, the high end. Um, I don't think it was much more than anything that took me the long. It was because I was just, uh, I would sit down, I would draw for like 40 minutes. I wouldn't be able to, all of a sudden I just didn't have that groove. You know, got married back in September. Um, right before that, I, because uh, I drew all my dudes, I, had that, I have that video available. I drew all my dudes and then there was the, um, then there was the one, the Cheech and Chong one that I did right before because I figured like, oh, this is, this is going to be easy. You know what I mean? This is going to be um, an easy win. And the reason why is because uh, I would look at Tommy Chong's Instagram and um, like a lot of people, he would say, you know, send in your fan art. We'll, re, uh, we'll repost anybody's whatever, you know, anybody, anything anybody sends in. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to crush this because I'm, you know, huge Cheech and Chong fan since I was a teenager. And I talked about it in that video and all that, all that good stuff. So my thought was, oh my God, I'm going to crush this. And, um, you know, posted it up and it just fucked, you know, belly up. Like most of the shit that I make, just belly up. Um, no visibility, all that good stuff. And um, so I was like, what, well, did they not see it? I, you know, I tagged, whatever, da, da, da. And then, um, oh man, after like a week or two, I was sitting in a parking lot. Uh, waiting for my wife, and I just threw like what I considered a hail mary. I just sent a DM. I'm like, nobody's gonna. This is you know a big account. Nobody's gonna s check the DMs. So I just like posted the picture and said, I think you guys might like this, just to try to get one more thing before I completely just gave up on that one. And um, got a message back that says who who made it, and I was like, oh hey, you know you know I did blah blah blah, and uh, it said red, and then that was it. I never heard anything from it. Now, what happened was, my wife is the one who brought this to my attention and said, like, I think you got discouraged by that. You were expecting, you know, you were expecting something and you didn't get it. And I think it kind of, you know, paraphrased, but hit, hit your ego. And I'm like, oh, no, man, like, I'm, I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm, I, I expect stuff like that. Now, the thing is, I was sort of training myself to expect stuff like that. Um, when in reality, you know, I think kind of on a more unconscious level, it did. Because, you know, here I am. Look, I just looked up. I wasn't even looking at this the whole time. I'm still trying to sketch these damn hands. <clears throat> now, as somebody who, you know, again, talks mad shit, like, you know, oh, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was uh, completely, I think I just started getting, I don't know, I got into this weird zone where I was almost, like, obsessing over, you know, whatever is, like, something that didn't look half-assed, something that didn't look just, like, Oh, yeah, that's cool. He tried. It was those damned hands. And also the reason is because when I, you know, this has nothing to, all this like self, uh, self denigrating and stuff has nothing to do with the actual subject. We watched Stranger Things, um, saw this, uh, saw this point, this sort of pivotal point in, uh, the character Steve Harrington. And, um, I was like, I got inspired and I said, oh, that's, you know, that's badass. That's, you know, that's the point where it switched for me, this character, um, didn't hate the character, just didn't care. Until this point, and I said, like, oh, this, you know, the, the, whole, the whole scene, the whole episode was super fun. And, um, and I said, oh, this would, be, this would be awesome, this, you know, this moment to draw. And, um, 
And yeah, like this was the one where I was struggling, struggling, struggling internally, telling myself, I'm not, you know, you're, you're, you're going to have to quit this one. You're going to have to bail on this one. And at the same time, I, I just, you know, I knew despite all of this crap that I had to just keep plugging away, keep plugging away. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to make this work. And, you know, I didn't want to go away from it because I almost felt like, ah, I need something else, a refresher. I need something else to come in and sort of, you know, I'll go back to this one. I knew if I, if that would happen, it wasn't, it was just a stubbornness inside that I was struggling with. And, um, you know, I persisted and, uh, there was a few crucial moments where it turned and I was okay with it. See, even right here, I was just everything questioning everything. And I think what happened was, um, the screenshots that I took, it's a wide shot. All right. So the characters are very small. It's a low lit, uh, it's a low lit scene. So the, the, you know, there's a lot of compression and stuff. And I eventually I realized, I said, okay, there's a difference. What I'm doing right now, I'm almost like, I'm not happy unless I'm, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Re uh, replicating the whole body. Now, most of the time I'll replicate the face. That's sort of like the portrait drawing portion. And then I expanded and I started uh, recreating, you know, everything else. So if there's a pose or something, I'll recreate it. I'll, I'll you know, figure draw it. Same kind of pose. If it's a little bit different, if it's a little bit of a different angle and stuff like that, you know, it, it works. It, uh, um, in this case, I became so obsessed with recreating the exact pose, like almost like to prove to myself, like, um, whether or not I can hang, you know, just, just a shitty couple uh, months in terms of art. <clears throat> um, yeah, and it wasn't until around this point that I... Uh, how far are we? Like a third of this time. It looks like on the timeline here, it looks like 40% of this time was sketching out that damn body and, and obsessing about the pose, thinking it was too lanky, wasn't stocky enough, didn't look like the picture. Finally, at this point, I said, draw the face. Y your best, you know, your best attribute is to draw faces. And it's almost like I should have, I almost learned a lesson with this as well, which is, um, Draw the face as early as you can, you know, sketch every, all, out all the broad strokes because it's almost like if the face is on, everything else I can sort of, like, gauge what looks right or looks wrong in contrast with, uh, you know, or, or in collaboration with the face. <clears throat> this was a super dark uh, picture on the right, so I made a super poofy do on the right side of his head because I was just, um, figuring it out and I was guessing. Oh yeah, that's right. You might be wondering why didn't you draw again? It was super low resolution. The, um, the, the actual picture that I was drawing. So I had to go to another scene, um, the scene, uh, a parallel scene, um, and grab this, which worked because it was sort of like the same, awe-stricken, upward-looking uh, face. When I, tucked in the, when I tucked in the sides of that hair on the right, I went, okay, I got that kind of relief. I didn't start getting relief until halfway through this process. Like I said, once I started drawing this head, I said, okay, I can, I can figure this out. The bat, like, even, like, you know, the bat's not coming out of the side. Like, it's not completely a side profile view. It's kind of protruding towards the foreground. And uh, even that, I was just second-guessing it. It's because it's just just this little sketchy outline. It, once you keep going and keep putting layers and layers and layers and layers of uh, detail, it starts just looking right. And, like, right here, I can't go by that. I just had to, you know, I said, look at the picture. So look, look how big it is. I started, you know, using my little caliper things or whatever and measuring. I said, yeah, you did it. It's, it's fine. Just keep going and it'll work out. What the hell was I doing here? Oh, I started, um, I started, uh, reworking all of my, um, I started reworking all of my, uh, what do you call it? My pens and stuff. Now, again, I'm not closed minded. There was, um, very minor criticism from a comment at one point um, 
and it was about that Arnold Schwarzenegger one I did months ago. And I agree that that one was the one that needed retooled the most. That's the one that I look at and I say, yeah, the pencil, <clears throat> the pencil shade that I have is is light enough of a gray that it really does jump out. And when I would draw, like you know, in this one, I I learned my lesson with hair. Like if I'm going to do color in a picture, if it's just black and white, I'm going to do a, as much detail with a pencil as in the hair that I can. But if not, if I'm planning on doing full color, then I can't do a lot of detail pencil wise in the drawing of the hair i gotta let the color do the work but the um you know like the arnold one and stuff like that the gray popped out where it was supposed to be drawn in because it's dark it would pop out because it was uh gray and what i did was i narrowed the default outline of the black because i'm still doing you know i always say this i'm still doing um the black outline stuff for everything um but I narrowed it so that it would um, kind of all blend together, and, I, and before I darkened up the um, I darkened up the pencil so that it would blend in with the black lines, and I let the black lines get thinner so that it would blend in with you know everything else. And I actually like the way it turned out. I like the way this picture turned out, which was so shocking. Like I said, it, it almost it like broke my spirit, or almost. See right here, even right now, you just have the flat local colors for him. I'm sketching this very basic um, cropped version of this hallway. And I, right here, I'm just going like, yeah, still not there, still not there. But once I started getting the detail and started, you know, I, I had to, obviously the background couldn't be just sort of futzed, futzed. I don't know, I'm trying to speak some kind of weird Yiddish that I don't even know. Um, the background couldn't be thrown together hastily and, and just sort of implied because it just it's too much mood to the picture it's too much mood to the scene so I had to do I had to go full blast with the background too I can already tell there's going to be a bunch of stuff that I remembered that I wanted to mention that I'm not that I'm not going to mention in this video this round yeah I would, okay this is definitely the point where I started picking up steam again started drawing every other day if not every day something every day because <clears throat> before that I would just take days off where I would just sort of kick my own ass in my mind say so anybody who does give a give a shit about what I'm doing here like I've lost I guarantee I've lost those people they're you know that whole thing where it's like the consistency's gone oh, what's that guy doing uh, he's not doing it anymore whatever like that whole vibe is going on in my head that sort of self-criticism that, you know, you're letting any momentum that you had go, and it's all because you're just fighting yourself and going online, looking at other artists and going like, oh, they're pretty good. Oh, it looks like they do this for a living. And all this just, like, crap. Just had to purge that shit from my head. And once I did, it's just, you know, I started looking forward to drawing again. I said, oh, man, I want to pick up where I left off. It all started coming back. And with this, actually, I just finished this today. This is rare because usually I finish and then I put everything together or, you know, I get everything ready and then I let it render overnight. And then the next day, at least, I do, uh, you know, I sit down, do this commentary that I'm doing right now. Where with this, um, I don't really have a lot of expectation. I think that's very important. I sort of learned from the last one, you know, don't sit too much in the, um, what's that word when you revel in something or you know, whatever, R rest in your laurels. That's the problem is I got no laurels to rest on. Like, it'd be different if it was like, you know, you get a, a pop or something. You just sit back and awe and go, wow. But with, you know, most things, it's just like, ah, shit. Well, I guess I got to try harder next time. Like, that kind of thing. But in this case, I sort of learned something recently where I just said, you need to make it so that you can just keep going. Don't worry about what this one's doing. Don't worry about how it's doing. I mean, um go just go on to the next one so in this case when i sit down tomorrow um i'll be doing something else that's it see right now this is where i started really kind of i don't want to say term falling in love with this but like i started really like i looked at the background that i was doing and i started really getting excited i said no you're not you know you didn't lose it why the hell does that happen why do you know how do you like, every time that I'll do something, 
I'm shitting my pants saying, I don't know what I was doing. I don't think about the other ones. I don't think about like, oh, you know, yeah, you're building something. You're onto something here. Look at all these other ones you did. They're pretty damn good. Like, no, I, I, I go, I don't know how you pulled that one off. I don't know how you pulled all those out, off, but obviously you're, you know, you got lucky. You pulled something at your, you know, not a fraud. How can you be fraudulent when you got nothing going on? Um, now, earlier when I was finishing up the rest of this, I thought, oh, this, you know what? I kept thinking it was going to be a big, long explanation of how, you know, it was going to be a big, somber commentary. And then I said, I think it's actually going to be pretty fun. I think I'm just going to abandon the, uh, the need to, you know, get into the whole self-denigrating process and all that, you know, shit. And um, no, just got back to it just because it's later at night now. Don't have that high energy that I had earlier. Um, I want to take a minute to think about anything that I might be missing. Yeah, it's too awkward. I'm back. I didn't go anywhere. It's too awkward to sit there in the silence. I'm just going to have to, uh, you know, remember whatever I, whatever great points that I thought along the way. So the one thing that I did notice is that uh, that I didn't notice until a long, you know, late. I just didn't observe this point is that he's lit from the right in the scene. And the picture that I uh, chose for the head lit from the left. So I had to do a lot of improvising and, and fixing and make it kind of look like it's a uh, reflective light hitting his head from, you know, the wall or something a little bit off camera on the left. Uh, I think it actually worked out pretty good. And then also the, the hallway light make it look like it's sort of just coming down just on the shoulder, not really hitting much of the head. Another way, another good way to blend it in was to give a little bit of like a kicker light from the back window onto the, um, the right side of his head. See, now I'm just back into technical talk. I don't really want to sit and, you know, oh, what was it? What was about the, the coloring of the hands? I did try it a couple a couple of times because they're lower, they're less less lit. I don't know where I went. It's just like two nights ago, last night? No. Yeah, was it last night? I don't know. Whatever. This is the most boring commentary I've probably ever done. But it's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, see that right there with the neck I had to... What I'm doing with the neck is it was way too lit from the left. Like the picture that I did, or the head drawing that I did. The head picture that I drew from. And um, I needed to put some more detail in there to make it blend into the shirt. The right eye, the corner of the right eye was a little too high the whole time, and I was struggling with the concept of bringing it down a little bit more. That kind of like Stallone kind of, you know, eye angle or whatever. And I ended up doing it in the end. Yeah, this was definitely last night. Because today, I did everything. It was the very end of the night. I did everything but beat, you know, rough up his face, which is what I did today. We're almost done with this. Here's the problem. When you have, you know, let's say, all right, here's what happened. You get married. A couple weeks go by. A, couple, a few weeks go by that I said, you know, I planned on start resuming. So it took a couple weeks for me to resume. And then once I did resume, it took a damn month to get my head out of my ass. You know, fight, you know, get over my own internal hate, hate, hate-filled demons, whatever the hell you want to refer to them as. And then, um, I just lost my thought. How stupid of me. Uh, oh yeah. So, after that, you get to the end where you get the plugs. And then, I'm just gonna have to burn through these plugs. I'm just gonna have to do them, like, as if it's not a thing. 
Like as if I didn't just, you know, take a month of saying, nah, I ain't good enough for this shit. <laughs> That's insane. I'm just going to do it. So you're, you know, you're just going to have to deal with that. It's coming up in a minute. And there you go. That's the end of the, the video. So, you know, if you want to follow me, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you'd like to, you can help legitimize my Patreon. And most importantly, go to bonobojuice.com slash hire. Check out that whole page um, if you want me to do something for you. And I will record it, and I will tell you how much self-loathing I went through when I uh, did it. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.